All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We're just going to review some of the Bitcoin plays uh, we made over in Discord here in the last 24, 36 hours and uh, just recap some of the structure uh, that we were working with. Uh, if you don't know, every day in Discord, that's going to be discord.gg slash DeFi Rebels for you. We do give you updates in the evening from myself and uh, Air actually trades with you with the updates in the morning during New York session. But we did have identified... Uh, a supply zone after a break of structure here in a uh, failed auction house for continuation to the downside uh, in our supply zone and the shift of structure we we're looking up too long into that supply uh, potentially looking at the dump if we got up there and uh, all in all that did happen at the end of the day here and those videos do work out great you get one of those every single night and uh, we just put out tonight's for you uh, so if you're interested in that again just hop over to discord.gg slash defi rebels if you do like the concepts you are hearing here and you want to learn how to take a little bit more of your financial control, read the language of the markets, swim with the whales. Again, I implore you to check out the Alpha Group. We do all of our trading over on MXC Global. QR code on your screen there. Best perpetual fees in the game. And uh, I will link those below in both the comment section and the description section for you. So uh, we have been watching this liquidity curve on the structure up through Thursday. You know, Getting those divergences here on the hour chart the whole way down. Uh, just taking a look all in all at volume coming out of the market as price action was chopping sideways. And then we finally just broke here with a bearish divergence uh, to the sound downside and swiftly losing uh, our four hour, our hour and lower daily structure for you. Uh, hourly structure for you. We lose daily. Uh, no daily structure loss there. So just four hour structure loss. Uh, potentially eight hour structure loss there for you. And we're looking for some retests and continuations uh, in that structure. So a couple things happened here. Uh, we had a decent uh, London open session that I played the other night. And this was nothing huge. Left to right break on structure here. Looking for continuation up to test this excess supply in the market, uh, which is really not marked properly right now because I was rearranging some things. So excess supply in the market here for us. And we're simply just following expectational order flow of the markets here uh, before we decisively broke down into our larger break of structure. So if we just zoom here a little bit, I think I had the wind wall on here. Uh, maybe I did delete that. Let's see if I can just pull that real quick. So we're in another area here. Can't give it all away. Sorry about that. Just want to make sure you know we're actually taking these plays when we talk about them. Now, again, don't focus so much on just that saying 10%, but this play was set up for only a 0.67% move, but that's actually 3% on account for you. And uh, again, if you don't know how to actually enter leverage positions properly, uh, we will teach you that with a full course over in the Discord for you. So that play worked out just fine with the expectational order flow. And then we did the slicely break structure to the downside. And here we do end up in uh, what we had, the structure shift from the bottom. This would have been the London uh, pre-market play after Asia ended. Uh, we did have it a nice break of structure to the upside. And we continued with those break of structures up into New York morning. And uh, we actually took uh, the back test for the mitigation zone on this last break of structure into New York open here at about nine o'clock in the continuation all the way up into the supply zone that we did identify for you the night before. So entry here was about 70,500 uh, with a nice stomp out here at the top of the range right in supply that was available here on mob charts for you and super easy to identify uh, right at the top at 71,400 uh, and some change there for you. Uh, and then short running to the bottom here. I did not pull that, but that's a pretty nice play itself. And uh, let's see what the oscillators did look like as we moved up into uh, about 10.30, 10.45 in New York today. And let's see if we could spot those divergences. Get some of this stuff out of the way. I tend to draw a lot on my charts. Uh, as you can see here, price action is moving to the upside. So you got a series of higher highs the whole way up the chain here. And then out in the oscillator here, this is your stochastic. You have a series of lower lows indicating that, hey, look, we might be short squeezing up. The short squeeze zone was identified. 
volumes coming out, you may have some continuation to the downside uh, based on that alone. Did you have any other confirmation in the market? Well, OBV on balance volume here did pull out immediately, breaking to the downside, confirming the move was real. And uh, you can pull open interest in order books and all those other things that are great tools for you. Uh, at the end of the day here, uh, how do we know where we are going to stop market structure for the short? That's pretty easy. Again, if you fail to break the high, this is going to be the SR flip of the zone. So this is where we decisively lost our range. We came back up and bearishly retested the top of that range for ourselves. And if we did not break into that with volume, we saw volume was falling off on several of our indicators there for you. It's just going to go ahead and attack the weak low. So we here we have a SR flip into a weak high. If we fail to take the weak high, we come back down and attack the weak low, easily closing this play out for a much larger on account of about 5.9%. So here we had 5.7, which is pretty nice because it was a tighter stop loss. Here we had a much larger stop loss. So this one's 0.275. This one was actually 0.52 because you got to cover the top. And it rolls down here to the market structure break, taking out the weak low uh, for the completion on that play as well. And again, these things all work out. So what was this? This was six. I don't even remember now. So 5.9 plus three. So we'll call that six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, 10, 11, 12, because that's another 3%, even though it looks really small on the chart. So there you do have a 9% on account here in just the last two days. Uh, if this sounds like Greek or bits and pieces start coming together, again, we have courses that walk you all through this. We have weekly meetings. We trade with you live. And uh, the tools to make you successful are going to be over in Discord. One last time for you, that's discord.gg slash DeFi Rebels. Those are the plays we saw here in the last 24 to 36 hours. New York session was spicy. Don't forget to open up your ranges. Uh, take range highs, range lows. And uh, at the end of the day, make sure you sell high by low at the end of the day. I'm out of here, guys.